What's up guys, my name is Gabriel and looking over at my analytics, I noticed that the Amazon bestseller playlist is overall the top fan favorite. So I decided to keep giving you guys exactly what you want. And today we're taking a look at the number one bestseller reflex site on amazon.com. Let's check it out. So as you guys may or may not know from my videos, I actually have a reflex site as my main optic at the moment, but it is not a Feiyachi branded site. So it seemed to be pretty similar, but not exactly the same. So I'm pretty curious to see what are the differences. This site I actually got off of like AliExpress and it took me like an eternity and a half to get here. Maybe they're different or who knows. I, just, I really don't know. So on Amazon, this is retailing for around 30 some dollars. I don't remember if it was like 32, 36, something along those lines which is really, really cheap. So Feiyachi is very well known for their affordable attachments, be it a grip, an optic, a flashlight, things like that, that are super budget friendly in comparison to other attachments out there. It came in this black box with a little rubber band around it. First thing you see is a little microfiber cloth, which is good to clean your lenses and all that just in case it's got dirt. It comes with a little manual right here it's really cool because it has instructions on zero in it, which is really really nice a lot of people don't know how to sight their optics and they just play with unsighted optics which is completely a mistake always sight your gun so here we have the sight in a little baggie but aside from that we have two spare batteries actually it might not have one inside so maybe it's one spare battery and it also has two different uh allen keys let's take a look at the actual site it looks remarkably the same as my other one the only difference is like the lettering let me just take off that site as you guys can see it has different colored numbers here on the top. Now, the reason that it is red and green is because this optic can change between a red dot and a green dot. And each of those numbers is a brightness setting. So if you're indoors, you don't really want to blast it because it could blind your vision. But if you're outdoors, you could crank it up so that it doesn't get washed by the daylight. Oh, this is when I, uh, I got shot on the site. You know, that could have been really bad. That's why you use a protector which I don't use because I'm a cheapskate. Yeah, that is a clear sight picture. I'm gonna see if I can like show the camera, which is gonna be a little bit hard. It looks very little on the screen, but it's not. Like honestly, it is a considerable amount of space, but for some reason, the perspective is kind of wonky when you put it in front of a camera. Basically, you have four modes. You have the crosshair, you have the crosshair with the circle. You have just a circle and the dot in the middle and you have the standard red dot. So some of you might be asking, why do you want an optic when your rifle already comes with iron sights? The answer is because this is so much easier than lining up your iron sights. Even though it may not seem that significant, it's a whole lot easier to just lift up your rifle and see a dot and shoot wherever it's on. And to have to line up both posts and then move your rifle along with it, perfectly aligned when you sight it in you can move around and the dot moves accordingly i'm not saying that when you move it gets unsighted on the contrary it's so good that when you move it keeps on target as long as your muzzle is pointing in that direction but of course what's a review without testing so i'm going to put this on my rifle sight it in and then i'm going to show you guys the kind of accuracy that it gets So let's see if this red dot sight actually stands up to the challenge. So what we're going to be doing is that I have a cardboard box down there. It has a little makeshift target. Not the best target, but it'll do. What we're going to be looking at is actually how close the groupings are to the center, not really how tight the groupings are. Basically, a good sight is going to get your groupings closer to where you want them to be. It's not going to make the overall spread any smaller. Right now, I'm at 40, 50 feet. I would say that in Puerto Rico, at least, this is pretty standard distance for like mid-range combat so again I'm just gonna do these and maybe I'll just move it a little bit farther back for the next round. Alright so I'm gonna give a little disclaimer before we get into the shooting section. I messed up. My standard BB weight is 0 0.28 grams and I had some extra BBs and I forgot that they're 0.25 so that means that my hop up was a little bit too high and I didn't notice until later so I'm just telling you guys this so you can keep it in mind for the first rounds but after that I actually adjust it and you're gonna see exactly what this site has to offer and I think you're gonna want to stick around for that so no more interruptions 
get to the video. I'm using my EMG Sharp Rose Jack. I've switched out the optic for the new Feiyachi sight. I'm gonna be using the red dot option instead of any of the bigger optics to try and get as precise as I can. I'm going to be shooting at the rings in the target over there and we'll see how close the grouping is to the actual target. Now as time progresses we'll see if the grouping stays in the same spot or if the grouping starts moving which is an indication that the sight is just not stable. Now again I sighted this myself so there is a human factor where I could have sighted it in a little bit off. If the groupings are super consistent just slightly to the right throughout the whole thing then we just know that I was a little bit off. Now again as always safety first always wear your glasses and let's get shooting. All right so I'm gonna shoot 10 rounds. Oops I just smacked the sight. All right, so 10 rounds, I'm going to be aiming dead center, and now we'll see how well my sighting went. <laughs> Safety off, let's shoot. Okay, that's 10 shots. I'm gonna go check it up close and see what I can find. Would you look at that, it's pretty close. Like up here, that's all of the shots. So it's right here, just slightly above the bullseye section and if i were to center it out it's probably up here all right so the aim was not that far off i think i might have sighted it a little bit too low because all of the shots are just ever so slightly above the bullseye i'd say about an inch or something but the grouping stayed consistent in that same spot, which means that shot to shot, it did not move the sight at all. Another factor is that I'm also doing this while standing with no support. So there also might be a little bit of swaying on my end, but it is pretty dang close to the center. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the target a little bit further back and then take some other shots. All right, so I'd say that I moved it back around another 15 feet. You can see it over there. So I'm just going to put on my eye protection and then take our shots. I'm pretty sure that the reason that those shots went up so high is because my BB weight changed. I usually use 0.28 and I had another bottle laying around and I thought they were 0.28s, but no, they're 0.25s. So I adjusted my hop up so I think that now it's going to be a lot closer to the center. So all I did was adjust my hop up, I did not adjust the sight at all. Oh yeah, this worked wonders, Jesus. Look at that, this is a grouping. This was not such a big hole, so a couple have hit here. And there was only one shot up here, so this is way more accurate so that was exactly my problem my problem was the hop up adjustment not really the sight uh this is the target right here the first shots were up around here right left and right was fine it was just a little bit high slightly above the bullseye as soon as i moved the target further back it started shooting way up here and that's what kind of threw me off i was like i know that it's supposed to be shooting higher but like i didn't expect it to be shooting that much higher and once I checked my BB weight, I noticed that I was using 0.25s. So I adjusted my hop up and shot 10 more rounds. And then all of them were around here, which is crazy. All of the shots landed in this circle, which is absolutely insane. And that lets you know that that little uppity bit that I had, that was in the sight. That was actually the hop up. So this goes to show that close up or farther away, it works exactly how it's supposed to. As you guys saw, the sight worked perfectly. I had a couple hiccups and I thought that maybe it was my fault or something was happening, but I was looking at the wrong direction. I thought that I was just the distance I sighted it in and it was actually the hop up because of the BB weight. So as you guys saw, it is really accurate. I had no problems with it. It has a lot of possibility for customization with the different reticles and colors and brightnesses for 30 some dollars. I had the other sight, which is exactly the same and it's been my main sight for months. So I can tell you in experience, it is worth the money. And I can tell you that as soon as I got a red dot, it made my life a whole lot easier. So that's all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave down in the comments below suggestions on what you want to see next so I can add it to my videos and give you exactly what you're looking for. So have a nice day and stay sharp. No, we going through it. Battle with the flow, so know that I've been moving through. Long way coming.